Minnesota Fighting Vikings continue to search for a quarterback, too, to back up Kirk Cousins, the Tempo Peace Ranch dictator. And the Vikings seem to be fine bringing back Sean Mannion, the vending machine egg salad sandwich of quarterbacks, who is not under contract, but Zimmer talked glowingly about him in a presser a few weeks ago. So I think the Vikings will eventually bring him back. And yes, draft a quarterback day three, but, but... What if I told you there was a 27-year young quarterback on the market with a big arm, mobility, moxie, and has had preseason success with the Vikings before? Hmm? Enter one Kyle Jerome Ezekiel Balthazar Sluder, a.k.a. Sluder, a.k.a. Sluder, whatever, right? Recently released by the Raiders. So let's recap the saga for the uninitiated. Kyle Sluder was a UDFA quarterback on Northern Colorado in 2017, formerly a tight end Ole Miss, back in the day, was teammates with Rashad Hill, was a UDFA for the Broncos, shined in preseason, was cut. They tried to get him on the practice squad, but yoink! Snoochie Boochie's Vikings snatched him up onto their practice squad, was eventually bumped up to the 53 after Sam Bradford got hurt, and was actually Case Keenum's backup during the 2017 Magic Carpet Ride. The Vikings were one play away from rookie Kyle Sluter just leading the Vikings to the promised land. He was a star of 2018-2019 preseason for the Vikings. Total stats over three seasons, 11 games, completed 75% of his passes, 1,059 yards passing, 8.4 yards per attempt, 10 touchdowns, zero picks, a 126.39 quarterback rating. And I know, dur, 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 dur. He was playing against dudes who are now working at Foot Locker. Well, he was playing with dudes who are now working at Foot Locker. And what would you rather happen? Do you want him to play bad? Or, bottom line, the kid just balled out at, at every opportunity that he was given in the National Football League, which wasn't many opportunities. But Zimmer was having none of it. The killer of fun. The Kyle Sluter era with the Vikings remains perplexing because you had this young, promising up and coming dude at the most important position in all of team sports unless we're talking about the 2020 offensive rookie of the year category and Zimmer went out of his way at every opportunity to just denigrate him throw cold water on the whole situation uh he has to get better at a lot of the other parts of being a quarterback like watching a play clock like you watch the clock man you're the worst clock manager in the National Football League. You're telling this guy about the clock. We're talking about practice. Want to see consistency with the little things, please. And also part of it was that Kirk Cousins, I'm sure deep down, didn't want a quarterback with a pulse behind him, seeing what happened with him in RG3 in Washington. But he was more than comfortable with inert pieces of wood, Trevor Simeon and Sean Mannion behind him. Vikings cut Sluter before the 2019 season, has bounced around the league since then. And also, I know... Dur, 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 dur. If he's so good, why isn't he caught on anywhere else? Well, Kyle Sluter has a stank of Zimmer, a well-respected head coach in the National Football League, just crapping all over him. He's like, hmm, well, if Zimmer says that he doesn't practice well, he doesn't practice well, ma. Plus, he, you know, reportedly, if he is whatever as a practice player, but you saw how he performed underneath the lights. I would rather have a guy who performs on Sunday as a dude who performs on Tuesday. I was like, oh, game day install on Wednesday. Oh, yeah, he, he, he's so good at the three-step drop. It's like, bop, 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 bop. Please, no. Uh, plus, Kyle Sluter has ties to the current staff. Clint Kubiak was the Broncos quarterback coach when Sluter was there as a UDFA in 2017. He knows his man. Plus, Gary Kubiak was in the Broncos front office when they brought him aboard. Andrew Janaka, who's the Vikings current quarterback coach, was on staff during the three-year Kyle Sluter reign. Uh, and I'm not saying that he'll ever be a starter in the league. I'm not trying to hype that up that far. But we are talking about a backup quarterback. And we're just talking about someone who is just... A little bit better than Sean Mannion. And if he's on the field, something bad has happened. Either Kirk Kiewa, Jerome Ezekiel Cousins has been abducted by aliens or has played so piss poorly that they somehow benched him, which I don't think will ever happen. I mean, if he wasn't benched in the first six games last year, is he ever going to be benched? Probably not. But Kyle Sluter has got size. He's got a strong arm. He's got mobility. He's got that clutch gene. Why not? Why the hell not? League minimum, nothing guaranteed. He comes in, competes in camp. We see how he does again in preseason. And if he beats out Mannion or whoever quarterbacks you bring in, go ahead. If not, no skin off anyone's nose. Keep Sluter alive. Keep the dream alive. Let's go. Uh, be your thoughts. Vikings need to bring back home Kyle Jerome Ezekiel Sluter. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most support that work. Pull some of the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.